It seems winter has decided to show up during the last two weeks while I've been gone. So I guess today's a good day to go into the barn, fire up the pellet stove, and work somewhere where it's nice and cozy. Okay, while we have a winter wonderland outside, I'm going to get back to work on the Ford 2000 today. Ah, uh, where I left off, I had uh, fluid leaking up through the uh, steering column there. And I've got the cowl and the hood off. That really wasn't a big deal. I'm going to take the gas tank off. There's only three bolts left and the fuel line before I can take it off. Now, I could, if I wanted to, just unbolt, uh, unbolt this right here, pull the top part off, put a new seal on, because that seal right there is obviously, obviously what's out, letting the fluid come up through that, uh, up to the shaft there. But I also noticed when I turned the wheel that, that uh, the, the shaft moved up and down a little bit. So I'm gonna take this all apart at the very least, I want to clean it up, inspect it, and put new seals on the uh, where the pitman arm shafts come out there. So uh, as long as I'm at it, I'm going to tear it all apart and make sure everything is copacetic before it goes back together. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that.
I've got everything disassembled and got the preliminary cleanup done and a little inspecting done. The, uh, this the little worm gear and balls here fortunately seems to be in good shape. It moves back and forth smoothly. That's good. This is the surface that the uh, top seal is supposed to seal on. Yeah, it's pretty bad, kind of rusted out. This is definitely going to need a repair sleeve on it. Uh, I'll have to sand it off, possibly uh, put a little JB weld underneath the, underneath the sleeve when I put it on there to make sure everything seats all right. Uh, this is the upper ball bearing above the, uh, the steering valve. That's in good, good shape. No, excuse me, that's the lower bearing. This is the upper bearing. This one is bad. Uh, it's shot, so I need to get one of those. Uh, let's see. The upper, the upper needle bearing that goes on the sh rides on the shaft here is in pretty good shape. The lower needle bearing is in there. I can't reach my hand down to feel it, but uh, I don't trust it. That's down in a little bit of a sump in the lowest part of the uh, of this housing here where every bit of moisture and gunk and everything else is going to ride down in there. So I'd like to replace that one. Uh, it's uh, it's in a blind in a blind indentation down there, a blind sump. So I do have a. Uh, a slide hammer bearing race puller that I think will get that out. So I'll try that, but not today. Uh, right now I'm going to, uh, well, I need to clean that up a bunch more. I need to get some more, uh, need to get some more cans of brake clean to finish cleaning it up. I've had it out to my parts washer, but right now I'm going to go into the, uh, get on the interwebs and see if I can find some parts and, uh, it's still snowing here. We're uh, we're right now under a blizzard warning, so I got a feeling tomorrow I'll be spending most of the day on the skid steer cleaning things up. But whenever I uh, get back at this thing, after I get more parts, I'll bring you back. So until then, everyone out there, have a good day.